What's up you guys? I am coming to you from Boracay in the Philippines. I left Taiwan yesterday. I was gonna vlog the journey, but you know what? I have just been too sick. Fear not, it's just a cold, it's just a bit of flu or something. I mean, I'll get over it, but it's really put down on the last few days. I got here last night and there was a huge Halloween party on and it looked really, really fun, but honestly, I felt so bad. I do actually feel a little bit better today, so hopefully, Fingers crossed we're, um, we're on the tail end of this. I'm definitely gonna just have a quiet day today because I really cannot be bothered to socialize when I feel like this crap. So I'm just having a nice little walk along the beach and even though the weather's quite dark and cloudy, it looks like it's gonna rain soon, the beach is so stunning. We're now like day four into this coldy, coffee, fluey grossness. I just coughed up some almighty nastiness. Good news is I haven't smoked for three days, um, so hopefully that lasts, but we will just see. Well, it's stopped raining now, which means it's uh, easier for me to go and see if I can find somewhere new to stay. Haven't walked past anywhere nice yet, but it's only a matter of time. Come down to the other side of the island, it's only 500 meters away from the last beach, but this beach is not nearly as nice. I think it's more about where boats go from and stuff like that rather than where people go to sunbathe and chill out. But the main reason that I wanted to leave that last hostel, there was this guy there, right? He called himself Captain Chaos, which is a, a name in its own right. He must have been about... Sorry, flies everywhere. Really irritable today, so don't fuck with me. He called himself Captain Chaos. He must have been about 40 or 50, but... He was very clearly an alcoholic and a smokeaholic, so maybe he was like 27 and had just aged really badly, I don't know. But I didn't have an encounter with him when he was sober, and I saw him at 9 o'clock in the morning, I saw him at 9 o'clock at night, all day he was drunk. And don't get me wrong, like his intentions were in the right place, he was like a friendly enough, nice enough person, but he was just fucking creepy, like always in my face. He was a little bit rude sometimes. I mean, he called me boring because I didn't want to drink because I'm sick and, you know, he laughed at me when I ordered a vegetarian pizza and shit like that and I'm like, I'm not that arsed really. But, you know, I'm here to have fun and live how I want to live and do what I want to do. I'm not here to answer to like a, a drunk ass 40, 50 year old man. He was saying a lot of creepy stuff like, he said like, oh, do you know why I shave my face? Because I love to lick pussy and shit like that. And it just, I don't know, it just got to me a little bit. I didn't really want to be around him. And he was, he paid for like everyone's food and drink for like the whole time that I saw him. So it's like, it's not like he was a nasty person. He was a nice person. He was just fucking creepy. And he was definitely spoiling the vibe for me. I could not relax around him. I'm glad to be left from that place. The hostel was nice. I just didn't really enjoy the people that I met there. Being sick whilst traveling really does suck. There's no two ways about it, especially solo traveling because, you know, I don't have anyone to look after me or like help me out. I don't have anyone to talk to, which is fine actually because I need a few quiet days, but it is kind of lonely. Normally spending this much time on my own really gets to me and really bothers me, but honestly a little detox and a little me time has been really nice because Socializing constantly, as much fun as it is, is a little taxing. I have never, ever seen water this color there before. The sky is blue, the sand is white, the sun is shining. Weather the last four days, although it was pretty warm still, was gray and uh, rainy most days. Today it is just absolutely perfect. <sighs> I'm going to spend the rest of the day by the beach, I'm sure. Success! I have now managed to eat some dinner and have a shower. And I feel like this cold is really, really, really nearly going. It's just my nose left now. I spent about like three hours googling where to go and what to do in the rest of the Philippines. It's really difficult here. It's not like Thailand or Vietnam where you just go kind of north to south or south to north or whatever. Here, it's 7,000 islands, so you kind of got to figure it out for yourself. There's a lot to do on each different place and it really depends on what you want to do. So no amount of reading has really prepared me for that. <clears throat> So what I am doing is flying tomorrow from Kalibo Airport to 
Cebu. Kalibo Airport is a ferry ride away from Boracay and then a two hour bus journey. And in Cebu, it's just the second biggest city in the Philippines. There's not really a lot to do there, but it's like a main transportation hub. So I figure what I'm gonna do is head to the main bus terminal that goes in Cebu City and see where it's gonna take me at that time. I'm thinking maybe a place called Mobile, but we'll see. And on that note, I am gonna end the vlog here. If you did like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and share. I would love to see you guys again soon and see more of you. And goodbye.